Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we're going to talk about the notion that Ukraine interfered in our election in 2016. In order to really understand it, we have to uh, take kind of a roundabout way to get there. So stick with me. In the summer of 1899, stick with me, a guy from Chicago, an engineer named Frank C. Lewis, he got interviewed at the Oxford Hotel in Denver. Journalists were interested in him because he was on his way to China with a very unusual job. The Chinese government had asked him to tear down the Great Wall of China and use the stones to build a road. Cool story. The Denver Post, Times, and Republican ran that story on June 25th, 1899. A couple days later, Fort Wayne Sentinel found out that uh, some of the stones were going to be used to plug up the Yangtze River. And shortly thereafter, other outlets were able to get their hands on illustrations of all of this. Now, we know this never happened because the Great Wall of China is there, but why? Well, that was filled in for us by a guy named Harry Lee Wilbur in 1939. He told everybody that uh, basically this, the idea that foreigners were going to tear down the wall, it inflamed anti-foreign sentiment in China. And that's why they had the Boxer Rebellion. This story got repeated until at least 1981 when none other than Paul Harvey, good day, repeated it. Here's the problem. Frank C. Lewis never existed. Not a real person. <laughs> Never existed. Um, journalists in Denver were up against a deadline, so they just made up a story. Something far away. Nobody could verify. Check it out. They had no idea other outlets were going to run with it and add to it. How could they? It's not real. My guess is guy in Fort Wayne Sentinel, guy at that paper, well, he's like, hey, I got three sources. It's got to be true. Just embellish it a little, add my own twist to it, boom, easy story, get my paycheck, good to go. So they don't plug up the Yang Z with some of the rocks, who cares? I mean, they just ran out of rocks, be easy to explain. And because the story spread, people started manufacturing evidence. The uh, thing about it sparking the Boxer Rebellion, none of that's true. None of that is true. It's just made up. Um, there's actually no evidence that this story ever even made it to China <laughs> by then. Um, this is what happened with this idea of Ukraine interfering in our elections. Somebody made up a story. See, this wealthy Ukrainian, this Ukrainian company called CrowdStrike, they got the server. They know it was Ukrainian interference, not Russian. Okay, well, that's cool, except for the guy, fact that the guy that owns CrowdStrike is an American in California. And even if you went by his heritage, he's Russian, not Ukrainian. So even if President Trump's little conspiracy theory was true, it would still be Russian interference. They're desperate to get the idea that it wasn't Russian interference out there. That makes them look bad. But let's just do a quick scan of the, the facts. So to be clear, this conspiracy theory revolves around the idea that Ukraine, our ally, who was trying to cement ties with us, dependent on us for aid, they interfered in our election to make sure the guy who was running as America First, not going to help anybody, not going to get involved in any of these other countries, to make sure he won. Because that's in their interests. It doesn't even make sense. But it got repeated, just like this story. And so people believed it. 100 years from now, people are going to look at the congressional testimony and make fun of these congresspeople that asked about this. 
How could they be this dumb? It was repeated enough. It was repeated enough by people who they trusted. Repetition is how people like this, these right-wing news outlets, how they get their story across. And it works just like this. Somebody makes something up and then somebody else builds off of it without verifying it. It's how it happens. You know, ideas travel faster than bullets. That, uh, that saying is not reserved for true ideas. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.